We're here today and we're talking recovery with sail sharks. We've got Tom, Rafi and Manu. Do you find that it does like impact your performance, your training when you've got a lower immune system or you're feeling a little bit run down? Yeah, fitness wise, you just feel like even the littlest thing, you're just blowing more than normal. I think, yeah, definitely it affects you physically. For me, I have to take um, turmeric, Red Bull, energy gel and beta alanine. Just trying to wake myself up before going into that session. Stay away from Manu. Stay away from Manu. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing in it is anyway. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone's experienced injuries here. I've obviously experienced like some major ones, particularly growing up. And dealing with that adversity is the biggest thing always, particularly in any performance sport, let alone like day-to-day -day life. But how do you guys, like how do you deal with it mentally when you've uh, experienced injury? I've always seen it as kind of like something to enjoy. Like obviously you can't change it, so you might as well try and enjoy it. And I'm trying to become obsessed by it. You know, when I did my wrists, I got I could do my legs, so I just got massively into my legs when I did my hamstring. I uh, just smashed upper bodies, and I think that's really good because it kind of really narrows your focus down. Because rather than thinking about you know if this this, just you become obsessed by one thing, and that's kind of your day to day. Now also you can have a look at the game from the different side. Not being on the field, you can just have a look and when we analyse it and try and see where I can fit in or I can be better. Um, so when you come back, you go straight in, you're not having to start again. Strength, speed and power are makings of a rugby player. How does nutrition aid this for you? Yeah, nutrition is massive, not just your macronutrients. You want to get your vitamins and all that stuff so you can sort of feel like, feel great as well as just have the energy and have the protein so you've got the muscle size but you want to feel great and not get injured a lot and all those kind of things as well. Definitely depends on the days. Mondays uh, be a bit light so for me personally I try not to eat too much so I get heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then pretty much you have the day before the game to get carbo load again so it's important. I mean for your mental side as well you know that you eat the right food and you get the right energy again you feel better what injuries have you individually suffered like what are your two ma major injuries that you've had and like what time frame have they been out for me probably my biggest one was when i dislocated my wrist it's quite funny we um it was literally just before the second test and we went on the thursday before we, we were all having waggers we played card roulette for the waggers wagger mamas and um <laughs> Basically, I lost, and I was literally on nothing. Like, these, we were on the table with like eight lads, and obviously, they were, you know, internationals and stuff. Anyway, the next day, I dislocated my wrist, and everyone was like trying to pay me back because I lost this card roulette. Um, but for me, for that four, four months, um, that, that, that was probably my, my toughest period. I had an adductor injury I played on, and it Oof. just slowly, slowly come up, and then. On thing on the fifth game, I was got the ball, went to sprint, and I just heard a like a bang. Yeah, but I think mean, that was I was on I think 16 months on 16 that one. Months. Yeah, what? I had like 12 injections to <laughs> try and stick it back together, like sugar, sugar injections. That was wow. tough. Yeah. The hardest thing about being injured. What would you say it is, if a couple of words? Like, what's the hardest thing? You just miss when you like go out and watch the boys train. You just want, you just miss being out there. It's a lonely, <laughs> it's lonely. <laughs> because all you do is like look outside from the gym. You're like, because oh, you want to be out there, but yeah, you do find yourself in the gym a lot. How have you guys felt using the turmeric shots? Good. I think we've been very lucky in as far as the relationship with Sale when we've been in you know, kind of breakfast, lunch, and we've been able to take them home. You know, the, the micronutrient stuff to, to get yourself right so you're able to go out there the next day and, and, and get yourself better um, is huge. As you get older or you, you get a bit more experience, you do realise how much of a difference it makes, how you feel and how you train the next day. I feel like it's sort of like a, a nice morning sort of throw it back, gives you that like wake, wake up sort of little shake and then you're sort of ready for the day. And then also like when, I've, I have realised sort of when you like cycle off them, you 
do sort of feel like, oh, I feel like I'm getting a bit more of a cold now, or like, I don't know, I feel like my immune system definitely drops a bit. So I feel like I'm probably more well-balanced the whole time when I'm having it. Yeah, definitely.